Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to import the Google Map 3D into Unreal Engine 5.1 to make it become a terrain or any of the game scenes in your Unreal Engine 5 game project. And now you can see this is Google Map 3D and everything are really 3D meshes and actually we can just grab it and import into Unreal Engine 5.1. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create and set the complexity of the collisions of the Google Map 3D in Unreal Engine 5 game project as well. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. The first step, what you're going to do is just scroll down, go to my video descriptions to get the Google Map 3D Grabber. The alternative link available for Mega and also the Google Drive. Once you download it, it is a zip folder and you have to extract it into your computer and you will get all of these items. The installer of the render.1.1 tree, you have to install it in your computer and then you have to make sure you install the Google Chrome browser in your computer as well. This is Microsoft Windows 10. And the Blender 3.0 here, this is the pre-installed plugin with Blender 3.0 that provided by me, you are going to use this to import the Google Map after the second step. Once you get everything ready, the first step what you are going to do is just make sure you close all the browser, close everything, and then start the render dot. Once you, once you start render dot already, click file inject into process and here you have to search chrome chrome and then it will be blank it is normal the next step open the google chrome by using the shortcut that provided by me this is the render doc google chrome render doc shortcut just double click to open and it will show this totally blank with a conversation it is normal you have to back to your render doc Refresh here, you should be able to see the Google Chrome GPU. Click to select it and click inject. Then you have to back to your Google Chrome. GPU starting with PID, you have to click OK. Now everything will work normally. Once you go into your Google Chrome, it will show you this some white text with the black background. Then in your Google Chrome browser here, Go to the Google, maps.google.com. Right, at here, the first step, what you are going to do is move your mouse cursor, click the satellite, and click more. Make sure you activate the globe view. Once you activate already, down, everything should be able to show the 3D. For example, this is Singapore. Once you zoom in, it will show you the 3D. All right, click the 3D, then you can really look into the territory. It have it have some different level of details. Let's say if I want to capture some of it, then I can focus on it. Let's say this area. All right. Make sure you get the highest resolution like this. This is the highest LOD and switch back to 2D like this. Alright, once you're ready, let's say if I want to capture this area, the next step in your render dock here, the capture after delay, you switch it to 5 seconds. Then click capture after delay back to your Chrome browser and you have to make sure you hold your mouse left click and keep on dragging like this to move it until you see cap one captures safe now back to your render dock you should be able to see this the chrome this one so the next step just right click to save it as demo i'm going to save it on my desktop to create a new folder singapore 01 Singapore 01. Click save. 
Now you can see the RDC file already here. The next step, what you are going to do is just open the Google Map 3D Grabber that downloaded from me. Open the Blender 3.0 that provided by me. Open the Blender. The first step, just delete everything. And then go to the Edit Preferences. Under the Add-ons, you have to search for Map. Then you can see the Map Models Importer. You have to make sure you take it to activate it, then close. Now you should be able to see that if you click File, Import, you can see the Google Map Capture. Then, it is on my desktop, Singapore 01, import the RDC file as 3D model. So here you have to wait for a while until it finished loaded. Sometimes it will show not responding at here. It is normal. You just need to be patient and wait for a while until the not responding disappear and it will respond. Just need to wait for a while. And how long you should wait, it depends on your computer speed. If you have a powerful computer, it may just a few seconds, it, it will finish loaded. So do not close it, just wait for this not responding. It is normal. That's all. And for mine, maybe, right, everything done. You can see all of these are really 3D models. The first step, what you are going to do is just click here to activate all the all the texture. Now you can see all of these 3D models already, already shown properly in Blender. The first step, what you are going to do is just select all the, all the territory and press Ctrl J to make it to make it all combine to become a single mesh. And once done ready, from here, you can just export as FBX file. So click here, File, Export FBX file. Export on my desktop, Singapore 01. This one, I named this as Singapore 01. The path mode, you have to make sure you choose Copy. And tick here to make sure it highlighted. This is to make sure that all the texture were embedded inside the FBX file. Click export FBX and wait for a while. Now it is exporting. Now you can see Singapore 01. If I double click the FBX file, it is going to open by using the 3D viewer and you can view in your Microsoft Windows 10. Right. Like this, once you're done already, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to import into Unreal Engine 5.1 and set the collisions so that in your game project, the player can walk on the terrain, on the whole city. So now, I'm going to close the Blender. I don't save it. And then, I close the Blender as well. Next, I will open my Unreal Engine 5.1. This is the Unreal Editor. Just wait for a while. The Unreal Editor 5.1. Now it is launching. And as demo, I'm going to just create a fresh new game project. And I will show you. Now the Unreal Editor is initializing. Just a few seconds. Then I can create a new a new project. Alright, as demo, I will just create a new game project, a third person game project. At here, I click create. The file name, project name, this is just a demo, the project 6. I create it. And here, now the new project is launching. It is creating a new project. Now we just need to wait for a while. All right now, the Unreal Engine 5 third person game project already successfully loaded. If you play, now this is the default player, the Mana Queen. 
and later we are going to import the Google Map into here. It is really easy. So now by default, you can't see the content browser. You have to go to the window, content browser to call out the content browser like this. So under the content, I will just create a new folder, name this as Google Map 3D. Right, inside the Google Map 3D folder, I'm going to import the Singapore 01s. I create a new folder, name this as Singapore 01s as well. Double click in. Then, just import the FBX file is enough. Drag in the FBX file into here. Then it is going to import. So I click import all. And here it is importing the FBX. Then close. And then we are going to find the static mesh. Where is the static mesh? Just scroll down to find it out. All of these are material. We want the static mesh. Okay, just need to be patient to search it out. The skeleton mesh or static mesh, it is the cyan color. White doesn't appear. Okay, it is here. If I double click and let's have a check on the static mesh. Now it is here. Yes. Okay, this is the one. So the first step what you are going to do is just double click in and then double click in the static mesh. And from here just go and search the collision. The collision will be here. Here. Alright, the collision complexity. This one is block all and the, the collision complexity you have to choose. Use complex collision as simple. Choose it. And then click save. Now close. Once done ready, the Singapore Zero ones. You can drag it into your territory like this. Right. Now it is already here. Then it already have the collisions if you make it bigger. So now we focus on on this mesh. It is still preparing the shader and a little bit lag on my computer. Here. So you may need to just wait for the preparing shader to finish. Now it is just 71%. Before that, it is a little bit lag. And now I'm going to pause recording for a while. I will pause the recording for a while until it finish preparing the shader. Alright, now it already finished preparing the shader and everything back to the normal. You can see this is the city. Now. I will just click it and press R to make it bigger. It already have the certain collision. 
So let's say if I put like this. And then the player starts. I will just put above here with certain collision. Alright, I put the player start at here. So if I try to play, now you can see this is this is the player. And the whole Google Map 3D already have the complex collisions and now it allow the player to play on the Google Map the Google Map 3D. You can walk on the terrains with the correct with the correct conditions and everything really work well. And of course all of these LOD are, are not suitable to display at a nearer position but you can make it become a skyscraper. Alright that's all for today about how to import the Google Map 3D mesh into Android Engine 5.1 to make it become a 3D model with the complex collisions that you can interact with the player in Unreal Engine 5.1. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial or sharing, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D animation, 3D modeling and game developing. See you!